Okay guys, so this video we're going to be doing two things. First thing is that we are going to be creating the get by ID endpoint for the comments. Previously, we've only been working on the stock entity, but now we have to start tackling some of the issues of introducing comments and how we're going to do so with a one-to-many relationship. And that first problem, or actually I guess that second problem that we are about to solve is how do we actually put the comments on the stock? When we, when we return stocks, how are we going to attach the comments to the stock entity? And we have to start thinking about that because entity framework, unfortunately, is not going to do that. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to use what's called an include. And an include is going to make it so that we will actually get comments, like I said, on the act on the stock entity so it, on our stock entity now instead of having a null here what's going to happen is we will now have our comment so our comment would be something like title uh we'll just say comment just like that and that's what it'll look like anyways all right let's go ahead let's hop inside vs code and let's get coding this thing up okay so we are inside of vs code right now and the first thing that we want to do is go inside of our i comment repository and we are going to start off with just making our actual interface signature. So I'm just going to go into here. We are going to return a comment. It's going to be an optional, of course. And we are going to say get by ID async. And we are going to pass in an int. Because if you're going to get one, you have to identify it somehow. So we're going to make sure we have our int inside of there. Next thing that we're going to do is fix our risk squiggly line. So if you make changes to the interface or you add a method signature, you're going to have to go into here and implement it because it is a contract. All right. So we're going to get rid of this. We no longer want this. So the first thing that we're going to do is go get our first comment. We need to await comment.repo, get by ID async, go ahead, pass in the ID. After that, what we are going to do is check for null. So go if comment is equal to null, then we're going to go down here. If it is null, we're going to return not found. Then after that, we are going to return our I action result, which is our okay. And we're going to return, uh, convert it back over to a comment DTO, just like this with our nice little uh, mapper function. Okay, so let's go ahead here and I'm going to test this to make sure that we are all good to go. And that looks good. So let's bring Swagger over here and let's get our first comment. Got an ID here. So if you don't have a comment, I'll show you how to make one very quickly. Uh, go into tables, go into comments, right click, go to edit. And what you want to do is just create another comment. So go com title comment. Let's see here. Can't pr don't press enter too quickly. Let's say title content and then go to created on. I'm just going to go 1990.02.02. And you don't have to type in the full date. It will automatically do a portion for you. And I'm going to link this stock to another stock that I had previously, which is Tesla. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you how to do that very quickly. So if you want to tie it to a stock that's already in your database, just go into the actual stocks table, go right here, right click, go select and just pick one. And you want to connect it to this ID right here. If you actually try to get all of the stocks and you, you want to be able to have the comments with all the stocks, it's not going to show them, unfortunately. So we already have two comments that are tied to the actual Tesla stock, but they're not showing up. So we need to make sure that that is actually occurring. And the way that we're going to do that, there's many ways that you can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the stock DTO and just go down here and put the actual comment. So public will go list comment DTO. And we'll have the comments and also we will make sure to add our get and set. So we'll have a get and set looking good. We need to do, we need to actually go over to our mapper and we need to map this. So we're going to go comment, uh, det so comments, and we're going to go stock, stock model. We're going to go comments. We're going to select. Go C is equal to C 
dot to comment DTO. Looking good. And then we need to convert this over to a list. So we're going to go to list. And we don't want the semicolon at the end of it. Okay. Let me make sure my comment DTO is good. The stock DTO is looking good. So now what we need to do is we need to go inside of our actual stock repository and we need to do the include. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go include. Go C is equal to C dot comments. Go ahead to list that. Then we're going to go into here. We're going to do the same exact thing for the get ID. And we don't want find, we want first or default because find does not work with uh, the include. So we're going to go i i dot id is equal to id. And that looks good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to install two packages. We need to install Newtonsoft and we need to install the, ext the extensions for MVC. So go ahead, let's go inside of actual visual studio here do control shift p open nougat gallery and we want to do newton soft install just the latest newton soft then we're going to go into here we're going to type in newton soft again so newton soft do the mvc asp net core mvc and make sure that you get the eight then what we need to do we need to go inside of our program.cs and we need to install this. So if you want, I'll leave this in a link down in the description if you don't want to type it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and just type it out. But you want to make sure that you get the add Newton soft version. So what I'm gonna do is go into builder and I'll just go ahead and type it out. So we're gonna go builder.services equal to add controllers and make that a function. We'll go add Newton soft JSON. And if make sure to install the right extensions, like I said, or you're going to get a bunch of errors. So we're going to go down in here. We're going to go options, uh, serializer settings, reference loop handling. And the reason that we're doing this is to prevent uh, object cycles. Uh, object cycle object cycles are a part of Entity Framework Core, pretty much. So we're going to have to install this so that it doesn't actually do object cycles, which we don't want. All right, so that is looking good. Close that out. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to restart this. So go here, .NET watch run. And let's test it out. Make sure that's working good. And we have our stock ID and we have two stock IDs. Look at that, that is beautiful. And I'm gonna go into here. Let's see. I'm going to get pull the individual Tesla stock and let's see if we also get our comments with the actual ID. And would you look at that? We now have our comments. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.